Hi, welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, we'll talk about how you can visualize the MODIS land use land cover data, okay? So the first thing is I'm um, hoping that you have already installed the Earth Engine API. Um, so if you've already installed, you can skip this section, but if not, then you can uncomment this uh, two lines and execute the code. But since I've already installed um, the Earth Engine API, I'll not execute that. So the next um, um, bit of code is to import the Earth Engine package, the Folium package, and the uh, GE Hydro, uh, which is a visualization uh, library. So I'll execute, uh, I'll ra uh, run that. And the next thing is to authenticate Earth Engine, but I've already authenticated that, so I'll comment that. And <clears throat> <clears throat> so what I need is to only uh, initialize Earth Engine. So I'll execute that bit of the code. So what this will um, help me is just import Earth Engine and initialize Earth Engine. So that will connect the Earth Engine Python API here in the Jupyter Notebook. Uh, the next thing is to, you know, since I need some sort of visualization, I'll call the Folium library and uh, provide my latitude and longitude and some sort of zoom level here. Um, and you can also choose a satellite background, a hybrid or a map. In this case, I'll choose a satellite and then execute that code. Um, the next bit of the code is to um, import the MODIS land cover data here. I'll uh, declare variable cover is equal to ee.image so that's an image uh, modis land cover so here's the the image id um, from the earth engine data library uh, is modis um, you know mcd12 uh, key one uh, and i'll define the year which is 2012 right and also select you know there are various land cover types so i'll choose land cover type one and uh, after that, I need to create some sort of um, visualization palette here. In this case, I'll name that palette as IGBP uh, palette, and I'll define you know um, color for you know different land use land cover classes here, as you can see, and also I will um, add the map add layer. Um, function and uh, call my um, modis image which I already uh, imported here uh, cover here and I'll define the minimum and, uh, and a maximum uh, land cover values in this case from 0 to 17 and I'll also call the palette which I've already defined here to uh, define the different you know colors for different land land cover for water wetland you know, crop plants, um, uh, snow, barren, and tundra, okay? And finally, uh, I'll execute this speed of the code. And um, at the end, I'll um, display my map, uh, the map that I've created here. Um, here, uh, at, at this um, map canvas, I should be able to see uh, a modis land, land cover visualization, okay? I'll execute that. Here we go. So now I can see uh, Modis. Uh, I'll just actually change the background to you know maps or open street map actually. So the IGP you know classification as you can see here for Conus the United States. Um, as you can see here. Alright, dude. So technically that's how you can you know visualize um, land use land cover data. So this is uh, the California San Francisco Bay Area for uh, the IGBP classification here. So mostly urban areas, you can see red. So technically that's how you display, you know, a MODIS land, land cover data using the Python Earth Engine API. Um, and this is actually a global data. Uh, you can you know, zoom in and zoom out to explore different parts of the world. 
this is Africa for example this is the Sahara Desert and the Congo Basin which is you know evergreen as you can see here so technically that's how you display a modis language land cover using a Python API in Earth engine